Hello, this is John Spielman with a roundup of the second day's play at the London Classic, um, the, fin the finale of the Grand Chess Tour in London Olympia. It's been another hard day of chess, but not enormously exciting, um, as both games were drawn fairly quickly. And we'll start with probably the less interesting, which is Vasily Lagrave against Carlsen. And um, this is basically about theory rather than about the actual game itself is fairly uninteresting. So Carson has played a6 and so it isn't a Berlin. Without a6, Bishop a4, it's a Berlin, which is a completely different animal. And they always used to go b5, bishop b3, d5 in this position and get the open variation after d takes e5, bishop b6. But then just recently the boys have been playing bishop b7. There have been quite a lot of games and it goes rook e1, b5, rook takes knight, d5 is necessary, knight takes pawn, knight takes rook takes pawn takes bishop. So this position, um, black's got the two bishops but he's got quite bad black squares and if white could get control of the position he might get the advantage and there are two moves basically, there's knight c3 or b3. Magnus face knight c3, let's see, I don't think these games are going to come up here, not on this thing. So knight c3 castles rook e1 was a game uh, Caruana Castle, Caruana Carson, which actually Caruana got the advantage, but obviously Carson had improved, and b3 is the other move which threatens bishop a3 and to swap the bishops. So you could take, because if bishop a3 there'd be b2, but you certainly wouldn't do that. Um, because white would recapture and have an a file for his rook. So you can either play bishop b6 or you can castle. Magnus had played bishop b6, no sorry, Karan had played bishop b6 against Nakamura, and I think Nakamura got a bit of bit of play did he yeah he got a bit of play though eventually Caruana managed to draw. Carson discovered a different way to play so this is nice positionally. If the knight could get to here and to here and to here then white would have a positional advantage but it's black to move and you haven't really got time. Rook e8 was played. I'm not sure about rook takes e8 check. I think if queen e2 he would have swapped Queen takes and probably played f6, queen e1, bishop f5, and that's probably okay. Um, you certainly don't take back this way because then black gets in c5 and has has good central pawns. So you so if you want queen e2 takes takes, I suppose c5 might be playable to play rook d1 and to try to play knight c4. But it looks terrible positionally if black can just hold the position. So he goes bishop b6, rook d1, and rather than playing c5, he goes queen e7 or f8 first, and then takes on b3, or not takes on b3 and plays c5. And black has a very pleasant position. It looks like, you know, there's no real pressure against the centre, and every black piece is in a good square. So you don't do that. Um, he, in fact, he took. And queen d2 is a good move on a black square. And now you're preparing to play knight to b1 to c3. But he played, Magnus played bishop f5. And this stops knight b1, which is annoying. Just noticed because a bishop takes c2. Because the move that you'd like to play next is bishop take, is, is knight b1. I don't know if he could have gone knight b1 at this moment. Maybe. I'm because then of course you don't have the bat rank trick. <coughs> I don't know if queen c6 is still a good move, queen d2, bishop f5 and the pieces end up a bit tied up. Um, but I think you need to get in knight c3 if you can and after queen d2 bishop f5 is an annoying move because it stops the knight here and after this you can't get your knight out. And what happened was that MVL basically decided round about here he was going to have to make a draw. 
So he went c4. So now, now the pawns are going to dissolve on the queen side, which means white would have the advantage if you could get knight c5, b3, c3 against a6, c7, d5. But he isn't, hasn't got any chance of that now. Good move of sorting out the back rank. Um, yeah, now he could have gone rook d8 as well. Uh, presumably knight e3 would have been played because rook e5, queen d4, check, which is often a very nasty trick, fails here to takes takes rook e1 mate, and therefore black is okay. Anyway, I mean, I think basically Magnus thought anything would be okay, and what actually happened was this. Obviously, you don't have time for e7 because of the back rank. G3 makes a hole for the king. And there are different ways you could play this. You could do anything you like, really. If you go rook b2, rook takes pawn, rook takes pawn, rook c6, then rook b7 is a very passive square, so you might have to play a pawn down. And of course you're drawing this. Magnus would not find it difficult to draw this, but it would be irritating to play it. He did it a bit better. He went rook a2, and b6 as well if you wanted. If g5 you have time to play king to h7 to g6 which is not good for white at all. Uh, so he took. Didn't even bother to play rook takes pawn and play 2v1. For the moment of course that's stopping king h6 which would be an accident after rook h8 mate. So white's two pawns up, he's got absolutely no winning chances. Um, and he decided to make a draw. And Magnus triumphantly took the opposition at the end of this game, which was really not that exciting. So the interesting bits um, are... Sorry, I'm doing this very fast, but I'm just getting to the position. By the way, I should say that nobody ever plays bishop b5 check, pawn takes, rook takes here, because then black has a good pawn structure and is a tempo up, and it's presumably very good for black. So I want to play knight b1 now, is the move I want to play, and I want to find out if, if I'm missing something. Is c5 a good move now? Bishop f5, knight c3. B3, C B3, Queen C6, Queen D2. Why does it think? Because it thinks that I can't get out of this. It's giving black the advantage here, but now it's realised white's got the advantage. So that was pretty stupid of it. Uh, Rook E8. Just any sensible move. G3, heavens, I don't like at all. F3, I like. Um, or h3. Queen d6. And now I can go here. And now I'm slightly better as white. Whatever the engine says, this is a slight advantage. Maybe queen g6 is possible with the bishop b4 coming too quickly. Um, perhaps I still haven't got time. So maybe I should have gone f3 here. f3 as... Queen e6, I can go king h2, can I? Queen e6, king here, h6, is this really, why does it think, queen d6, oh I'm going to have to go g3, queen f6, and there's a bishop b4 happening too quickly, I'm having to do such a lot of fiddling around to try to neutralise black that it's not quite working. If I had time to go knight c5 and c3 and rook e1, then I'd have the advantage, but rook e1 is losing the c-pawn. If I go c3, there's going to be... Well, it's going bishop d7. It doesn't want to go bishop... one of these bishop moves. I thought it was going to do this. Because queen f4... Oh, it still thinks this is better for white, even with these double pawns. That's interesting. Um, I thought that maybe this would be okay with the double pawns. But here you see you've got a control. So I so knight b1 is a critical move. 
anyway, uh, wherever it was. Um, and that's really what you have to look at and see if you've got to, somehow can get control. Because after queen d2, bishop f5, he never had time for knight b1 because of the bat rank trick. So basically, I suppose Maxime played a white without anything bad going on. Now, Ding against Aronian was also quite a quick draw, so quite interesting. Let's kill this engine. Got, yeah, I've got time to do this. So, Knight takes would be a Karakani thing, but this is interesting. Now, I'd like, there are two things I'm won wondering about in this game. One is whether you can play h3, check here, and knight e4. And my engine is basically saying that castles, knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, rook over, and knight g5 is really dangerous. Which wasn't completely obvious to me, but of course white's getting all those pieces out with, in time. I haven't looked at castles, bishop c3, but bishop takes, pawn takes. I'm wondering about this position, whether you can play this. It really doesn't like it because I'm going knight e5 and things are happening too quickly. Bishop b4 is already a threat. So stuff is happening too fast is the allegation. I mean I'm looking now at knight c6, bishop b4, knight e5 and wondering if anything. Knight c6 they want to go f4 do they? They're really really going for it in this position. And okay I can't easily easily assess this position. But I mean yeah knight c6 I go here don't I actually? The one I want to play and that's just much better for white and knight f6 I got a lot of lot of development okay it's interesting so I mean probably black wouldn't play knight e4 black could go here and maybe h6 now to stop bishop g5 and I would have thought the white has a tiny tiny advantage now um, this is one way to play it and the other thing he actually castled and I wondered about queen b3. I thought if you leave the pin it just isn't much fun. And now if I get a knight e5 I've got the advantage. I think. And the engine was giving this move here, bishop to here. Takes, takes, h3, knight f6, bishop b3. And I guess you can claim you've got the two bishops here as white. I'm not sure if it really means anything much. But okay. I would pretend I was slightly better here if I had it. And the other line is to go um, queen b3, bishop takes knight, which is not a move you want to play at all. But now you get to play this move, queen d7, probably king h1. And I'm not sure. Um, you can play queen h3, he goes queen d1. And are the two bishops and the centre worth more or less than the pawn structure? I don't know. King h8 was being suggested by my engine here, I think. Um, actually, it, it wasn't playing queen. Uh, I was, it wasn't playing queen d7. I was going knight c6. C6. Although uh, this was a different engine. This was not stockfish, but the engine on my chess base, which is Houdini, in fact. Rook b1, b6. Queen d1. Well, assess and, and decide. This engine, Stockfish thinks point plus point two. I think this is quite an interesting position. This is probably about the best white can do. Instead, and I don't know if I'd want to play it either. Instead, Ding played h3 and g4, which really isn't very... makes a weakness. I don't like it. Um, I was interested in playing, he just moved his rook back. If you go here, you can actually try this if you want to. Because if pawn takes knight, d5 wins a piece. Um, though actually, again, Houdini just says, what about going bishop? Um, oh good, that's very nice. I'm getting a nice message about my Twitch from people actually. So this move is interesting. And black has a lot of lot of compensation for the pawn for the exchange. 
what you know, G4 is a move you absolutely don't want to have played. What I don't know now is if knight d2, whether you play knight d4 or not. You don't play knight d4, I think, because probably then... Well, maybe you can, yeah, that's a good move as well. Just put your bishop in e5. Uh, king g2, e5, knight e4, do you have a hit? f5. And basically black's pieces are much better than white's. I mean, none of this was very obvious, but he in fact went rook e7. thought he might take in g3 to get a weakness in e3, but obviously it isn't much. And basically the game fizzled out now. Um, and Aronian decided to make a draw. And there we are. So it was not a fantastic day's play. There's probably more, much more excitement in the English knockout at the moment, the British knockout. Uh, but we shall see. Um, the, the, the guys, they've played two classical games. They've neutralised each other. It's been quite decent chess. Very decent chess without any blood being spilt. The closest to blood being spilt was yesterday in... Um, Carson against MVL and that was a very interesting game as we saw yesterday. Okay, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be posting another one of these roundups. I'm giving a simul at the uh, venue tomorrow evening starting at 6.30 till I don't know 8.30 or something. So I'll probably have a drink and come home and try to post round about I don't know midnight my time um, t tomorrow, another round. I hope we'll have a bit more excitement. Okay, cheers then. Bye.